on what is or is not a healthy beverage for children. And there are some big changes. That's right. So Dr. Don Schiffer joins us this morning with those new guidelines that they're recommending. Hey. So we know not too much fruit juice, or the kids running around the house. But what are the new guidelines? Well, when it comes to kids, everybody's an expert. But uh, the Robert Wood Johnson Healthy, Eat, Healthy Eating Research Program had real experts that looked at all the available scientific evidence for six months, came up with a consensus statement that basically has three recommendations. Simple, easy to follow, very straightforward. Hit us. Uh, and these are for kids birth to age five. Okay. Uh, although what they're aiming for is the healthiest beverage to support uh, really optimal growth and development through teenage and into adulthood because we all know that there's lots of, uh, shall we say, unhealthy beverages yeah. out there for adults. So really it's very straightforward. They say for the first six months, breast milk or formula, mm -hmm. then you can start water, okay? And then as they get to a year, whole milk till age two years, then after two years, 1% or skim milk. Really? Uh, two to three cups. And again, uh, trying to avoid a lot of saturated fat in milks. So I had heard, uh, maybe it's an old wives' tale, that the, the fatter the milk, the better actually for kids. That's what is I this heard. a new guideline or this is it's what you've always well, been saying? Well, no, this is, this is a guideline that is one of those mythologies out there. And mm -hmm. really the difference is so infinitesimally small. Think of decades of taking whole milk, which is 4% fat, which is almost 70% fat. Mm -hmm. And think of decades of drinking that and what it's going to do to your internal organs in terms of the saturated fat contents. Okay. So they're recommending skim milk or 1% milk. Now, the recommendation for limiting, limiting beverages are beverages with sugar actually and of course 100% fruit juice, only about a half a cup. And if you want to dilute that with water, all the better. But again, we don't want to create what we call juiceaholics. Right. Yeah. And there's a lot of them out there. And the last, of course, is not recommended beverages. Things with, of course, lots of sugar, mm -hmm. any caffeine. And the real hit here in terms of understanding is plant-based milks. Oat, soy, mm -hmm. flax, hemp, pea, uh, coconut. Those are now not recommended for children from birth to five unless you talk with your pediatrician or you have an allergy or intolerance for regular milk. Okay. Other than that, those plant-based milks are now out with the exception of maybe soy milk because they don't have the nutritional hit that regular milk has, the regular okay. cow's milk has in terms of vitamin D, calcium, phosphorus, zinc, etc. The micronutrients in regular milk are far exceeding those in the plant-based wow. milks. All so right. the experts are in, and these are very straightforward and easy to follow recommendations, water, milk, and very little sugar. We love it. So, so how much milk a day is okay? Well, again, uh, depending on the age and the, the needs of the child, usually two to three cups, uh, certainly after age two, two to three cups should be sufficient, along with other dairy products like yogurts and cheese. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about things that people think are good? No, so not, to, you know, not taking anyone, Gatorade, Powerade, uh, energy drinks like that, where kids, if they're a little older, five to 15, 18, you know, I'm going for my track practice or whatever. What, what would you say, just stick to the water? Can those things be good for you? Well, water is certainly the best hydration you can get. Uh, some of those energy drinks have a lot of sugar in them. And again, that was the irritation the, po the panel had with the plant-based milks because a lot of them are sugar sweetened. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So again, kids don't need sugar. Even the low cow Gatorades are really not that much better than water. Um, if you want to have a great sports drink, take orange juice, four ounces of orange juice, add water. It's a pretty good orange drink with lots of, mm. or pretty good energy drink with lots of potassium and no caffeine. Again, for kids, even teenagers, caffeine is really not the best beverage to have. And you have to be really, really careful because my daughter saw what would look like a watermelon water and we got it and I'm sitting there and I'm looking at the back of it and it said it contained caffeine because it was made with green tea. Right. So you have to really check these things how, out. How bad is caffeine for, for kids? We only got about 30 seconds. Well, caffeine is certainly a, a beverage that isn't made for children. It's made for adults. And again, it's, it's a, shall we say, an increase in your heart rate, your blood pressure, and kids really just don't need it, yeah. period. If you wanna select that as an adult, but caffeine is hidden in a lot of ways green tea, guarana, things that you don't recognize as caffeine. All right. So if you have a suspicion, stick with water. Great stuff as always, Blue Dr. Don. our minds today with the whole milk thing. Well, right. Let's rethink the drink. Rethink Great. the Love drink. It.